It is Morning Express and uh, well today is the 18th day of March 2016. Days are really flying. Can you imagine March is almost giving us its kisogo. But anyway, it is time for us to have our Friday chat and I'll start first of all by introducing the panel that we have this morning. And as usual, I like to start with my extreme left where we have uh, Queen Karibu Sana. Queen is an editor and with the Nairobian. Great to have you. Thank you, Mike. Can you imagine it's today that I'm learning your name is actually Quinta? Really? Me, I just need Queen. It's fine. Me, you are too Queen. Queen is fine. It's Queen is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa, Karibu Sana. <laughs> Next you. to her, we have uh, Adiyam Bodera, who is a pop culture specialist. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hi, Mike. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good, I'm very well, thank you. Good to have you as well. Thank and you. last but not least, we have Stevens Mwendo, who is an editor and a writer with the Pulse as well. All right. How was your week? Let me start with uh, mm. Stevens. You had a good week? My week has been good. Mm -hmm. And I know the weekend is going to be better. Uh, you're looking so forward to the weekend. leave it at that okay. for the discussion. We'll get to what you're doing. The paper is just so time. big, I'm just still looking for my pulse. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Oh yes, by the way, I noticed today's standard is huge. And by the way, it's in the past. With educational so, staff. Yeah, there's educational yeah, staff. So, yeah. Adiambo, your week has been good? It's lovely. You know, it was my birthday on Wednesday. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, really? No, remember? Happy yes, oh, thank I did. you. <laughs> Cannot forget that. Queen? <laughs> oh, my week was fine. I yeah. can't complain. Yes. Stevens was giving you a five. Uh, <laughs> a five, Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your week has been good. No, it's good. Oh, you it? Okay. Yes. So, so. Mm. Well, normally we start off with that uh, song of stage. the week. Mm -hmm. And what we've tried to do so far is have a song of the week whereby it's themed, given, uh, you know, some of the things uh, that we're going through. Because we've realized that music is a very powerful tool mm -hmm. of communication. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you even have a revolution just brought about by music. Mm -hmm. But today we decided to do it a little bit different. And we We've got what uh, is known as uh, spoken word. Mm -hmm. So this morning we have uh, MC Elfra and uh, MC. Good to have you. And uh, maybe you can just tell us a little bit about spoken word. What? Uh, how, how does one come up with spoken word? Do you write it or do you just wing it? Is it something that you just do? <laughs> um, I think spoken word. You just you write it. You write what you feel and um, what got got um, can you affect society. Yeah, that's all I guess. Okay. Uh -huh. So, of course, we know that uh, some of the things we're going to be talking about is that the fact that Kenya is the happiest in East Africa, but yeah, it's sure. 12th in mm -hmm. Africa. But anyway, mm -hmm. let's hear your spoken word and maybe it'll give us an inkling as to why we are 12th in Africa. But this is MC Elfra MC with Elfra. spoken word. And I hope that one day justice will be our shield and defender. That we shall dwell in unity, peace and liberty, and plenty will be found within our borders. So Lord, help this our land and nation. Before independent Mababu Zetu will cry in one voice. Against Baguzi Warangi, Unyakulizi wa Mashamba, poor working condition and the need of unity for freedom. 1963 ndo ilikuwa ni mwisho ya wakoloni makabila zikajigawanya na hivi sasa tuko lonely we no longer have national leaders but a community based leaders hivi sasa utashika silaha na utakik huyu sababu ulizaliwa mjaka na yemki kuyu and vice versa uski siku hizi ndo upate kazi qualification ni sane ati heri upatie yako kabila wengine wabaki bila tume upgrade to individualism where mtu mmoja na iba mabilioni za fedha wakati kuna msichana hezi ya Ford sanitary pads anatumia chickens feathers tume upgrade to individualism where mbunge wangu daily ata complain ati venye anaskotiwa na curfew yet his constituency is insecure imebidi curfew it's a man it's another man society Public funds in Alipia politician medication outside the country. Wakati si tu machua huku bila madawa, bila matibabu kwa hizi public hospitali zenyata zina hospitality. Deni nambi wati venye utumishi kwa wote ndiyo policy ya mapolisi. And yet ndoni udumiwe lazima nitoe kitu kidogo. You see, Kenya's justice system is only powerful when it comes to prosecuting the poor but to the rich it's just a toothless bulldog. And that's why politician at incite nata give hate which remarks and at the end of the day ata walk free. I wonder to see Twitter with Shimi wa yet how anyway wa Jashim. Kuna high rate of unemployment. Ni wangapi huru mhi capital city just in search of capital. Na daily tutambiwa tivenye Kenya is a country rich in resources and opportunity then how comes our economy still poor? So I hope that one day justice will be our shield and defender. That we shall dwell in unity, peace and liberty and plenty will be found within our borders. So Lord, help this our land and nation. Elfra. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. There you have it. That's uh, Elfra there with uh, spoken word. And uh, 
Elsewhere, what, what, what's the, the, the basis of, or rather, what's the punch mm -hmm. of your spoken word this morning? Okay, I think basically, look, Yangalia, which is because it happened in Kenya lately. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we took try to address because a lot of people, a lot of people are Jewish, a lot of people in it, in Asimio, in Asimio, and um, I was raised that you talk about it. Yeah, so for me, the basically, it's only between the layer politically, like, see what I can do and I can make it. Okay, yeah. Sasa so Elfra there uh, with spoken word, and uh, he's still around, so he's going to be giving us a little bit more of that. But let me come to the panel. And, uh, well, what do you think of uh, the, the content of the spoken word? Spoken word has always had a theme. Um, it's, it's poetic, so, sing, mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry. It, it's poetic singing with a theme, and, and most of them would be. Uh, things that we have seen in Kwani and, and, and movements like that, that sometimes you may not be uh, that vocal person who is a politician himself or the, the young guy who has a leadership position, uh, like we have young leaders and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are guys who are powerful. Like you said, music is a very powerful tool. And, and it's like, it's a sort of a movement that you just conceive things in your mind, think how you can assist your people or a given uh, movement to liberate uh, people in, in a given purpose. And I think that comes out very clear. We, we saw this thing during the Narora Young People Movement, uh, the likes of, of, of um, Ukoflani, Momo, and all those. Their songs were always poetic, you know, um, the kind of stuff he's doing. And I think that speaks a lot. And these are people who, who do not just... Uh, sing because they want to make songs or be hard or say poetry because they want to be hard or sing They're always having a purpose and that moved me from that. Oh, wow. Uh, Queen, your take on uh, the power of music and even poetry, especially given now that uh, we're getting closer and closer to 2017. And one of the things that I think many Kenyans fear is a, a repeat of 2007-2008 mm -hmm. uh, post-election violence. Oh, yeah, what uh, the power of spoken word cannot be underestimated because we saw, especially during the last elections, how uh, artists were able to, you know, endorse presidential aspirants and everybody, you know, flew with the current. So the power of the spoken word, the, the good thing about it is that it doesn't discriminate. You don't need to be literate to engage in the spoken word because you actually express yourself. You don't need to know how to write or how to read. It is what is in your heart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is very important, especially for artists who engage in uh, the spoken word to, you know, to come out at this moment to preach peace so that we, 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 we do not have a repeat of what happened in 2007. Absolutely. And to mulika yes. our politicians, because yes, honestly of course. speaking, yes. uh, it can get bad. Adiambo? Yes. Um, we've spoken about this before. And um, you know that art, and what we call it, we say art is rising. Um, anybody who knows that knows that world over, art can always change people. And the people that are united in one theme or one type of thought can actually be able to change perceptions in, in other places. Um, for me, I'm not even just thinking they need to preach peace. They need to preach truth. Um, because the truth is what is going to set all of us free. Whether it is that uh, people actually want to rise up and, and, and do, do, do what, then they actually need to know exactly what is going on. And the situation I love about artists is that they're not going to sugarcoat it and say, you know, we are all really happy about everything that is there. They're going to say the gloom that is there and then probably be able to tell other people and, uh, you know, make everybody else realize the gloom that is there. Because if you, are, you go and live in a bubble somewhere and you just think things are good, you know, we are all just okay, in fact, let peace uh, continue there. I mean, because people went, in fact, in 2013, the, the, what was most annoying about the 2013 election is that everybody was so scared that people are going to kill each other. That ev the, everything that was being preached was like, you know, guys, you know, just don't do this. So nobody actually really talked about the fact that there is looting of resources, there is this thing going on. And, and now I think art is rising. Art is saying, okay, very good. Probably things went wrong at this time. However, we are seeing looting. We are seeing people stealing. We are seeing all these things. Absolutely. Can you rise up and be able to do something? So I loved, I loved what he is saying. I just needed some music to accompany mm -hmm. it. No, we had it. Running. We just didn't hear the, the audience didn't hear it. 
No, no it's a DJ. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't respond, <laughs> but just to let you know at home that uh, Alpha is still here, and we're going to give you mm -hmm. another opportunity to still give a small spoken word. But mindset here says via Twitter that uh, it's official poetry art preaches the truth, yeah. and uh, we also have Paul Latino who says through music uh, that is power of spoken word. Mm -hmm. We can change the society. Mm -hmm. Is that is Kenya and wow. uh, denounce and announce? Yes. So definitely it's there is really. power. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And it looks like uh, there's a flow. Yeah, people are there. <laughs> I, I, I always think I can do like something like that. Yeah. You know, like really give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Let me give you a chance. No, 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 no. I don't think so. so. I don't think so. so. I don't no, I'm giving you a chance. Uh, well, you know, yeah, fast. <laughs> No, but, no, but then again, Michael, you know, one thing about one thing about the spoken word, and of course, anybody who has a mouth to talk, especially mm. as you approach elections, you really have to, you know, tread on cautious grounds. You have to walk. We have to. We have to preach. We have to make sure Kenya does not go back to the to the, to the dark ages. Mm. Yeah. And, and you know, sometimes what I wonder is when we keep saying, because politicians will come up and say that uh, Kenya must not go back. We'll come out here and of say course, Kenya must yeah. not. Who is this that takes us back? Because it seems like it's an amorphous being that does not exist. Then suddenly when, uh, you know, elections yeah. come, there's violence. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we take ourselves back. Yeah. That is the truth. Because I and you will preach, let's not go back to, to what it was. Mm. Yeah. But, but along the way, we, 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 we lose it in the sense that we seem to forget the real the real virtues that that help us mm -hmm. uh, move forward and not go back to what we used to be mm -hmm. uh, we start to in little ways start to hate on each other we, t we even as young people we, 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 we try to tribalize everything and, and 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 make each other feel you are you're not deserving this mm -hmm. you're not deserving that. and before you know it mm -hmm. like she said the politicians are already taking advantage of our weaknesses as young people as artists and whoever it is and, and, and you're already there. When, when, when you already take sites, for example, that I belong, um, I, and I like tribes, of course, that, that is okay. That's uh, uh, mm -hmm. given. Yeah, that's yeah, a blessing. Yeah, ethnicity, I think, is a good thing. It's a good thing, positive. yeah. I mean, we're, good we're thing. a very diverse culture. But the most, and we must take advantage yeah, of that. Yeah. But the moment we just step aside and say, I am these people, people. and I'm not you people. My people. And, and, and she's from the West, and then she's from the other side of the world. And now we are all, all from different places. Mm. But the moment you start thinking, oh, you no, are not this mm -hmm. even Even in the mind. Mm. I think that's what you try to do. That's where we go wrong. Mm. And talking about changing the country and revolution, last week we were talking about Generation X. Yes. And of course, uh, that is still uh, so mm. in the minds of many because given the, the kind of world we're living in and uh, looking at our youth, I don't know what is really mm. going on in their minds because one might think it's because they're idle, they're not in school. But a story this week that we had here on KTN, it was on the standard as well. And I'd want us to play that story of four youth who literally for me i was shocked out of my wits given mm. that they ran away from school yeah mm. they went and uh, got this taxi driver killed literally him. tortured him killed him killed him yes put him in the boot and they were arrested now as they were going and may, i mean we're talking, we're talking about they're watching, kids who are 17. They're watching a movie mm. they reenacted a movie but before we even talk about that <laughs> let's just uh, have that story because honestly it pains to us the society that we're living in and something must be done, Tom.